In the world of software development, the architectural choices we make can have a profound impact on our projects. Today, we're diving into the world of stateful and architectures. Let's embark on a journey into the world of software architectures. At its core, software architecture is the blueprint that shapes the behavior and performance of an application. Central to this realm are stateful and stateless architectures. They are the foundational choices that define how data and information flow within your system. A stateful architecture maintains the state of a user's interactions with the application. In simple terms, it remembers and retains data. In contrast, a stateless architecture doesn't retain data about the user's interactions. Each request is treated independently, with no knowledge of previous interactions. This fundamental difference in how data is handled has profound implications for the design, scalability, and maintenance of software systems. Now that we've laid the foundation, let's delve deeper into the characteristics and use cases of these architectural paradigms. Now, let's immerse ourselves in the world of stateful architecture. This approach, known for its capacity to retain data, underpins a multitude of applications, each benefiting from its unique set of characteristics. One of the primary characteristics of stateful architecture is its ability to remember the past. It retains information about the user's interactions, creating a sense of continuity and context. This continuity is crucial in applications where data consistency and context preservation are paramount, such as databases. Databases rely on stateful architectures to maintain trans transactional integrity and keep a reliable record of information. In the dynamic world of gaming, stateful architecture ensures that players' progress, scores, and game states are maintained. It's what allows you to save your game, pick up where you left off, and see your achievements accumulate over time. Moreover, in mission-critical systems, such as financial services or medical records management, stateful architectures guarantee the accuracy and integrity of data. The precision of every transaction is the backbone of these industries. Stateful architecture isn't just about preserving data, it's about upholding trust and consistency, making it the choice for applications that require a high degree of reliability and data accuracy. But as we've explored the strengths of stateful architecture, we must also understand its limitations and where it might not be the best fit. Stateless Architecture, Characteristics and Use Cases now, let's dive into the world of stateless architecture, where data retention is not in the vocabulary. Stateless architecture is celebrated for its remarkable versatility and scalability. At its core, a stateless architecture treats each request independently. It doesn't carry the burden of remembering past interactions, which can be liberating in the right contexts. One of the key characteristics of stateless architecture is its ability to effortlessly handle a high volume of requests. This makes it the go-to choice for applications where scalability is paramount. Web servers are a prime example of where stateless architecture shines. Every time you access a web page, your request is treated as a standalone event, enabling millions of users to access content simultaneously without a hitch. In the the realm of load balancing, stateless architecture thrives as it can distribute requests efficiently to various servers. The absence of persistent states ensures a balanced distribution of workloads. Additionally, stateless architecture is a favorite in microservices-based applications. Here, it allows each microservice to operate independently, promoting agility and ease of maintenance. While the strengths of stateless architecture are evident, we'll also explore where it may present challenges and limitations. Now, let's embark on a balanced exploration of the pros and cons of stateful architectures. Stateful architectures, with their ability to retain data, come with a range of advantages. One of the most significant benefits is data integrity. When data is preserved, it's less susceptible to errors and inconsistencies. This makes stateful architectures an ideal choice for applications where precision and reliability are non-negotiable, such as financial systems and healthcare databases. However, the strength of stateful architectures is often accompanied by complexity and maintenance. Because they store data and context, managing the state becomes more intricate. Maintaining data consistency and ensuring proper synchronization can be resource intensive. As applications scale, these complexities can become significant hurdles. Another drawback of stateful architectures is scalability. As more users and data are added, scaling can be challenging due to the need to maintain and synchronize states. This may lead to limitations in terms of accommodating rapid growth or sudden bursts in user activity. 
a concern often faced by startups and rapidly expanding platforms. In summary, stateful architectures provide data integrity and context but at the cost of increased maintenance complexity and scalability challenges. The choice between stateful and stateless architectures largely depends on your project's specific requirements. Now, let's explore the flip side and delve into the pros and cons of stateless architectures. Stateless architectures, celebrated for their ability to handle a high volume of requests with ease, bring a host of advantages to the table. One of the most notable benefits is scalability. In stateless systems, the lack of persistent states means that they can seamlessly scale horizontally. This makes them the preferred choice for applications that require rapid expansion or sudden spikes in user activity. However, the flexibility of stateless architectures comes at a price, and that price is data consistency. Without the ability to retain content text, stateless systems might encounter challenges in maintaining data consistency across requests. This is a critical concern in applications like e-commerce platforms, where maintaining accurate shopping carts or financial systems that require precise transactional records. Another consideration is the ease of maintenance. Stateless architectures, due to their simplified nature, are generally easier to maintain. However, there can be situations where complex state management logic is pushed to the client's side, which can make maintenance more demanding. Demanding. In summary, stateless architectures offer exceptional scalability and simplified maintenance but can present data consistency challenges, particularly in applications where preserving context is essential. Decision, making considerations. Now that we've explored the strengths and challenges of both stateful and stateless architectures, the critical question arises, how do you make the right choice for your project? Choosing between stateful and stateless architectures should be a carefully considered decision, tailored to your project's specific requirements and goals. Start by evaluating the unique demands of your project. Consider the following key factors to guide your decision. First and foremost, consider the criticality of data consistency and integrity in your application. If your project involves financial transactions, medical records, or any data where accuracy is paramount, stateful architectures may be the better choice. Assess your project's scalability requirements. If you anticipate rapid growth or fluctuating user loads, stateless architectures are typically more adaptable and better suited to handle scaling challenges. Evaluate the complexity of maintenance. Stateless architectures are often easier to maintain due to their simpler nature. However, keep in mind that stateful architectures can require more intricate maintenance, especially in applications with complex data handling needs. Consider your project goals and the desired user experience. If your project aims to provide a seamless, context-aware user experience, a stateful architecture may be the better choice. On the other hand, stateless architectures can excel in projects where user scalability and agility are top priorities. Example, stateless architectures, exemplified by web applications with stateless APIs or content delivery networks, operate without retaining client-specific state on the server. Each client request stands alone, contributing to easy scalability as additional servers can be added without concern for shared state. In contrast, stateful architectures, such as an online shopping cart system, store and update user-specific information on the server. This ensures a continuous and personalized user experience, with features like maintaining a persistent shopping cart across sessions. Some applications, like social media platforms, adopt a hybrid approach. They employ stateless architecture for delivering public content but leverage stateful components for user-specific interactions, striking a balance between simplicity and the need for personalized user experiences. In conclusion, the choice between stateful and stateless architectures is a nuanced decision. It hinges on your project's unique requirements, data considerations, scalability demands, maintenance complexity, and the envisioned user experience. In the end, the right choice depends on your specific needs. Make informed architectural decisions to drive your projects to success. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of stateful and stateless architectures. We hope this video has shed light on the importance of architectural choices in the world of software development.